Hi everyone, today I want to talk about uh, the difference between a uh, wooden fence and a um, wooden wall enclosure. So basically both of these, like right now, I didn't finish constructing uh, the enclosure, but you know like if I put a wall all around this area like this, it is considered as an enclosure, right? So if I put wall fences, uh, sorry, wooden fences or any kind of, you know, like you can, ma you can make fences um, with different type of material, it could be silver or gold, but you know, do it with wood. <laughs> uh, if you have fences around like this, it's considered as an enclosure. This is an enclosure, and this is an enclosure as well. And if you, let's say, um, put a wall all over, I mean, all, all around your base, it is also considered, if it's closed, if it's like literally all closed, it's considered as an enclosure. So the reason I want to talk about this is because, um, I want to show you what happened to me after I put uh, a wooden fence. Uh, before what the the this event, the um, you know the the thing is in the up, upcoming uh, patch 1.3 there are new changes and uh, now animals are, have been um, split like some animals like donkeys, uh, donkeys, ibex, ram, ibex, doe, uh, chin is it this guy chinchilla. Alpaca, gazelle, turkey, you know, these guys, they need to be in a pen. So you cannot zone them like the others. Like, you see, uh, hare, uh, hare, fox, guinea, uh, guinea pig, uh, huskies, you know, these guys can be zoned. You know, like elephant, meg slot. So, um, the thing is this. Um, when when you when you if you wanna let's say put your donkey uh, in a, in an enclosed area they need to be in a pen so you need to have this guy over here um, you go to struct no you go to misc and you create a pen marker so if you don't have a pen marker in here and then if you don't do this let, let's say if you don't check mark uh, where's my donkey donkey here uh, if you don't do this the donkey will be like somewhere on the map and your tamer will not know where to put him so you need to have a pen marker and you need to choose the donkey and any other animals that you want to put in this pen okay same thing over here so if I put a marker over here and I build it and I need to decide who's gonna be in here right and also I suggest that you put um, that you don't put let's say if you put donkey over here I suggest that you do not put donkey over here as well okay so you don't want to put the same animal in two different places because um, the last time I did that my tamer I don't know why but the donkey was stuck in between that he was stuck like uh, on the grass he did not like he did not know where he wanted to go I don't know I, I don't know I'm not sure if I can explain as well but um, that's one disadvantage so I, I suggest that you put your specific animals one part of specific animals in one area one enclosed area and the other one in another enclosed area so in this guy here I'm gonna put like uh, mega sloth elephants you know like the big animals and here I'm gonna put like medium animals well I say medium you know and this guy I'm gonna put like the small animals like rabbits and over here I'm gonna put like um, tur uh, like birds like turkey not bird well chicken turkeys goose ducks you know what I'm saying so you want to separate them so it's more um, it's more alkaline, it's more, um, what's the word again? <laughs> uh, whoa, I got a blank. It's more, um, organized, that's what I, yeah, it, it's more organized. Also, the other thing about pen animal, as you can see here, I build, um, like a little barn, you know. Thing is, if you don't do this, like the way I did, what I did before, this wasn't here before, I did a barn over here. And I wanted my, like, you know, the, um, my donkeys, all these animals here, I wanted them, I wanted them to come here. Uh, and I thought that would be automatic during nighttime, but they didn't. So what does that mean? It means that if you make an enclosed area with fences like this, you need to have, you need to make a barn within that same area so, uh, so that your animals can actually, you know, go sleep in there like during nighttime they will go in here um, 
and also you need to make a I, I, ha, I had to make another wooden pen marker over here and I had to choose the animals that I wanted you know from this area I need to choose which animals gonna be sleeping here which is pretty much the same technically you know what I mean so in this area so all the pen animal that I chose over here will be the same that I okay I did not do it so will be the same that I choose over here so they can sleep over here it's not automatic you need to put this this thing here this this pen thing okay well let me double check it let's go to nighttime and see what happened because wait 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 wait. I'm gonna remove this so all these animal here turtle turkey this guy and this guy let's see if they're gonna go sleep here automatically during nighttime and uh, I'm, I'm gonna fast forward because I remember they some of them slept outside because I thought just be, just because my uh, my my barn was was within the area of this pen I thought they would autom automatically go here or here without having to put a pen marker so I just want to test that with you guys so what time is it now 13 okay so we're gonna have to wait a little bit longer I'm gonna fast forward this it's 14 hours okay and as you can see I have my tamer over here doing his job so these guys are going in and out so that's a good news that's good news what what is he doing ah see that's the problem what is he doing where are you bringing what I see you're, you're seeing something what the shit did he just do ah so that's what I thought that's what I thought um because see the I think the animals were in here the donkeys and the whatever and he brought them outside over here okay let me see something Lily I just want to confirm that with you guys Lily where are you I kind of named most of them uh, she's part of pen marker 4 that would be this guy no that would be this guy pen marker 4 so what if she brought him outside interesting let's take a look let's go further faster see here I have no marker I have no marker I don't have any pen markers I want to see if these guys gonna go sleep in there like this guy here see this 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 uh, cows ducks turkey did I put turkey yeah did I put turkey over here as well yeah so turkeys can go both both place over here I'm gonna see if they're gonna sleep in here without having the pen marker because one time I remember that my animals over here they did not sleep inside automatically during nighttime like okay it's nighttime now they did not sleep automatically and they slept on the grass instead of going in here so I, that's why I thought of putting a pen marker but let's double check that together just to confirm just to confirm okay it's nighttime we're getting there come on god damn it nine o'clock ten o'clock oh Oh, you little it worked so I was right so you just need to have a pen marker here and you need to make a bar uh, like a barn within the like next to the, the the enclosure where the pen marker is and you don't need to put any um, pen marker within here for them to go sleep automatically during nighttime so okay it's confirmed so I don't need this I don't know why I uh, so I'm just gonna remove that but I know okay we're gonna remove it and see what happened next um, okay, so I was saying that the other disadvantage of having a fence, the, the disadvantage is that other animals, like wild animals, like all these guys over here, well, I mean, you know, like the bat, like the um, the wolf, the wark, all the wild animals that can attack uh, cobra, who, that can attack your uh, the other animals, they can get through the fences, they can get through the fences here and kill your animals. It happened to me like three times already. <laughs> uh, and so what hap what that means that if you put so that's why if you put them inside a wall like this guy if you enclose them in walls well the wild animals cannot go through walls so that's the advantage of having a wall you understand now the um, the advantage of having a fence there's two advantages so far first of all it only costs one wood compared to a wall a wooden wall that that costs five wood so making fences is way cheaper okay that is if you take the wood uh, wood material of course 
because if you take silver uh, if you take silver it's 10 silver oh, wow 10 silver wow that, that's expensive <laughs> so you better have a lot of money <laughs> uh, let me see half at the gold 10 gold yeah now, I don't know if you want to do a golden uh, fences but yeah I suggest you go with wood <laughs> oh you can also use steel look at that how much steel is it one steel yeah you could you should use steel if you want to use steel if you have steel <laughs> So yeah, and see, wooden wall is five wood. Okay. Now, if you do, if you do like uh, I don't know, steel wall, or stone using stone blocks, then of course it's better in the sense that, you know, if the if something catch on fire, your walls would not go down. Now with wooden fence, of course, if there's a fire, your fence will go down. Now here's another disadvantage. If you're if let's say you put these guys here, if these animals, if you put all these animals in this area, okay, and if at any point any point your fence go down one part of your fence go down or anything that is let's say if something blocks like um, the gate let's say I don't know somebody drops a, a piece of wood in the gate and let's say the gate is open what's gonna happen is that any of your these animals you have here have a risk of um, fleeing fleeing the pen they will start fleeing slowly 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 and they will leave the map and it happened to me before so that's one disadvantage of the fence because they're easy to break you know they're easy to burn the, uh, com compared to the wall uh, they last way longer it depends which material because wood still burns but not as fast as this guy gets that's why I rec recommend to use like uh, steel steel wall or anything with uh, block like sandstone whatever you know gran granite 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 <laughs> uh, walls uh, when it's in, by enclosed, it doesn't have to be fenced. It has to be enclosed with walls, or brick, or, or like you know, like uh, stone or anything. You know, it doesn't have to be fences. Uh, the advantage of having fences also is that your people can go through the fences without having going through the gate. So your people can go through here, through here, through here, through here. You don't need a gate. The reason you have a gate is just that it goes faster. It just go poop. It goes in. You no know, people goes in or and your animals goes in and out faster okay that's the only reason but even if you put fences everywhere if you put fences everywhere if you tr remove the gates and put fence over there uh, your your people can still go through the gate the only time your animals but they will go slower they will just walk very slowly just like is as, as if they would walk uh, in the mud now the only difference is that your animals your animals if, if, if the gates break then they can you have a risk of losing your animal it could be any animal by the way I mean panned animal you know um, that's why I'm actually see I'm de deconstructing um, the fences over here because I already have walls over here so walls are considered as you know part of the enclosure so you don't I don't need like fences and walls at the same time you understand what I'm saying so yeah um, so yeah, it is confirmed, guys. So you just need to have uh, one wooden pen marker in an enclosed area, and you need to have your, you know, sleeping spot just beside uh, the area where they eat or whatever. So uh, it is confirmed. It, it, it works. <laughs> I'm happy because I thought I had to have uh, two of them, one here, one inside, in order for them to sleep here. But I guess not. Uh, what else can I say? Let me see if I forget something. Um, so why would you want to have fences instead of walls? Well, like I said, it looks... It, first of all, it's cheaper. It, co it costs one wood instead of five wood for the wall. And it looks better as well. It looks more like, you know, a ranch. Ranch, like, for these animals. It looks good. Uh, it it kind of looks good, you know? But at the same time, you have, like, disadvantages that you have to take in consideration. Yeah, so that's that's the only thing, you know. And also, if you um, you see here, I use um, structure. I use animal flap. It's a doorway hung with overflapping strip or fabric or leather. So, it, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that you need to use animal flap as door for your barn. If you use a regular door, this kind of door, they will not get inside. They won't get in and they won't get out. Trust me, I did it before, it doesn't work. You need to use animal flap for your barn, okay? However, if, you, if, we're, if we talk about 
the other animals, these guys over here that you can zone in, these guys they can go through any door. They can go through regular door or animal flap. Yeah, I wanted to mention that as well. So yeah, I hope that this video helps you and uh, if it does, please like and subs and uh, thank you and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.